Hey there, in this video we're going to show you how to properly insulate an above grade exterior wall. Now new construction and new additions by code require a 2x6 uh, stud which uh, makes a 5.5 inch cavity which is perfect for the Roxel Comfort Bat R24 because it is in fact 5.5 inches thick and it will fit perfectly in here. But before I get to how to install it, I want to address something that a lot of people aren't exactly sure about. Let's say you're upgrading an older house which has a 2x4 exterior wall. Um, by using the R24, you're actually not doing yourself any favors because when you compress the insulation, it loses its R value. So if you're going to stick with a 2x4, you might as well use the R14 Roxel Comfort Bat. But if you want to go the extra mile, and that's me, I figured I've gone this far, might as well go all the way. Just take a 2x2, strap it into the existing 2x4, and therefore creating a larger cavity for the Roxel Comfort Bat R24. Now, how do we install this? It's quite simple, really. I love this product because it is made of stone and slag, which is just another way of saying recycled steel, and it's very thick and like very rigid. So we want to get as high as possible, make sure that we cover all gaps and all seals, and it's just insert, compress, and release. Now, see that? I insulated the top first to show you one thing. That sucker ain't going anywhere. I can pull on this and it's gonna stay. Nice and rigid, moisture resistance. Should it ever get wet, it'll repel the moisture and it's gonna stay and retain its R value. So we continue on, insert, compress, and release. All right, now, should you encounter a cavity that is not a standard 16 to center by to stud, you gotta cut it. This is simple. You measure it off. This is about nine and a quarter inches. So we're gonna have to cut this. But as I told you, because this product is made from rock and uh, recycled steel or slag, you don't wanna use a standard uh, utility knife because you're gonna go through way, way too many blades. So again, suggestion is a bread knife, serrated knife. And also, you're gonna cut just a little wider to sort of keep that snugness in there. So I'm gonna cut these at 10. Mark it there. Mark it there. And mark it there. All right, so. Like cutting a bread, like cutting bread with a bread knife. Nice and long. So I've cut this about three quarters of an inch. You want to cut it about half an inch to an inch wider than you need in order to maintain that snugness. And again, insert, compress, and release. Once you've done the entire wall, you are ready for vapor barrier. All right, so now that we're done insulating our exterior wall with Roxel Comfort Bat 24, you want to put up a vapor barrier. Generally, the vapor barrier goes on the warm side of the wall, but you might want to check your building codes just in case. Now, you also want to make sure you have a nice tight seal should your vapor barrier overlap because it's short, or you, uh, you want to make sure you overlap for a couple of inches, staple it in, and you want to seal it with this red tape or tuck tape. Nice and tight. Now, the reason we're doing this is because if you have warm air on the inside, we don't want it to get inside the cavity where it could mix with cold air creating moisture, which leads to an even bigger problem, and that's mold and mildew. Because after building such a beautiful wall, why would you want to tear it down to address that issue? Nice and tight. Thanks for watching this video.